Tilka ayatul kitabil mubin. Assalamu alaikum children. Today we will be listening to another great story. Our today's story is about Prophet Moses or Musa as he is called in Arabic language. Prophet Moses loved learning new things. He always loved coming up with new ideas. Teaching was another thing that he loved. He enjoyed gathering young people around him to tell them new things that he had learned. He is the only prophet that Allah talked to. Musa listened to Allah carefully and then told others what he had heard. Allah knew that Musa liked learning new things. So one day, Allah said to Musa, Would you like to meet a man who knows a lot more than you do? Moses wanted to meet such a man. So he said, Yes, Allah, I would surely like to meet such a man. I will learn new things from him. Okay, then at noon tomorrow, meet him by the riverside. Musa was very happy. He just needed few more details. So, what's his name? And where exactly will I find him? Allah answered, his name is Khazar. To know exactly where to meet him, keep a fish in your bag. Then keep a close eye on the fish. Sometime tomorrow, you will see it come to life, and then you will see it jump out of your bag and go into the river. That's where you will find Khizr waiting for you. Moses came down the mountain. He went straight to his student's house and said, Tomorrow we will meet Khizr. His student asked, Who is he? Khizr is an educated man. Allah has taught him a lot. He will teach us new things as well. Wonderful, said his student. And what time do we leave tomorrow? Right at the sunrise. And make sure that you pack our lunch and a fish in traveling bag, instructed Musa. A fish? But what for? His student asked. I will explain you tomorrow. With that, Moses left for his home. His student kept lying in his bed, thinking about their trip tomorrow. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who is there? It's me, Moses. Let's go. The student opened the door. He was all ready for the big trip. Have you packed the lunch and the fish? Moses asked. Yes, I have, replied his student. Fine, uh, so let's move. 
And with that, the two of them headed for the river. Once at the river bank, the student asked Musa, Sir, you haven't explained. Why do we need the fish? Musa explained, The fish will guide us to Khizr. The student was surprised to hear that. How is that possible? He said, For Allah, everything is possible. Just keep an eye on it. You will see it becoming alive sometime later. Then it will jump out of your back and go into the river. That's where we will meet Khizr. Yes, sir, replied his student. It was a hot day. The traveling on foot was tiring, but they continued. By noon, the student was extremely tired. Can we sit under the shade of this tree for a while? I am extremely tired, he requested. Very well, then. You sit down and rest for a few minutes, and I will climb that big rock to see if I can find Khizr. The student went under the tree. He put the bag beside him and relaxed, while Moses was standing on the rock. A strange thing happened to the student's back. It started to shake. The fish came out crawling from it and jumped into the river. The student saw all that happening. and looked for Moses. He didn't see Moses. The student was very tired, so he said to himself, I will inform Musa when he comes back. And with that, he closed his eyes and went to sleep. Wake up, uh, boy. We are getting late. Let's move on. The student opened his eyes and saw Musa. He quickly picked the back and followed Musa. He forgot God to tell Musa about the fish. Both kept walking for a couple of hours. It was afternoon by now. Moses stopped and said, It's been a long walk. Let's have our uh, lunch now. Yes, sir, replied the student. They sat down under the cool shade of a tree. The student put his hand in the bag to grab the lunch. That's when he remembered it. The fish, sir, the fish, fish, the boy screamed. Why? What happened to it? Moses asked. Well, it, it jumped in the river. What do you mean it jumped in the 
river. Why you did not tell me that before? said Moses. I forgot, sir. I completely forgot, replied the student. Moses said to his student, Let's get back. Show me where it jumped in the river. They both hurried back. Here, this is where the fish jumped into the river. The student spotted a place. Moses looked around. He must be somewhere around here. He then ran towards a big tree and there he saw a man sitting. Moses sat beside the man and said, uh, I am Moses. I have come here to learn from you. Hezer replied, Allah has already told me about you and I have been waiting here for you for a while now. Sure you can join me, but let me warn you, you wouldn't be able to have patience with me. Just remember, you can't ask me any questions. I will explain you everything whenever I wish. Do you agree? Moses nodded his head and said, I promise I will not say a word. I will just see what you do and how you do it. Khizr got up and said, Very well then, let's go. We have to get to the other side of this river. They walked to a place where lots of boats were floating by the river bank. Khizr pointed at one of the boats and said, There we will cross the river in that boat. Khizr went close to the boat owners and asked, How much will you charge for taking us on the other side of the river? The boat owner looked closely at three of them and said, Well, sir, you are our guest and we will take you for free. Khizar boarded the boat and said, Good, let's go then. Slowly the boat moved to the other side of the river. Khizar thanked the boat owner for a free ride, then moved little away and hid behind a bush. From there, he could see the boat owners who were under a nearby tree for a nap. Khizar kept watching the boat owners. He went close to them to make sure they are sound asleep. He then came back to the boat and started to break it with a big rock. Boof, boof, boof. Musa was annoyed to see him do that. It 
took Khizr some time and effort to break the boat from one side. Moses didn't help any. Instead, he kept watching Khizr angrily. Once Khizr was through damaging the boat, he said to Moses, Let's move on. But Moses couldn't control his anger. He asked, What did you do that for? Khizr looked at Musa very calmly and asked, Did what? I mean, why you had to damage the poor man's boat? After all, they gave us a free ride, complained Moses. Didn't I tell you not to ask any questions? Moses realized his mistake. He remembered that Khizr doesn't do anything on his own. Allah tells Khizr what to do. And Khizr just follows Allah's orders. Moses felt bad. So he quickly apologized for interfering into Khizr's matters. I am really sorry. That was my mistake. I promise to be patient next time. The men kept walking for a while and reached a small town. There Khizr searched for a house and kept waiting near it. At last the door opened and a boy came running from the house. Khizr told Moses to wait for him and then followed the boy. In a while, Khizr returned and asked Moses to follow him to another village. But uh, what did you uh, do with the boy? asked Moses. I killed him. Khizr answered comfortably. You did a bad Think, said Moses. Khizr stopped right there and said, Again, didn't I tell you not to ask me any questions? Once again, Moses was sorry for what he had said. Once again, he had to apologize to Khizr. It was late evening when they reached the next village. It was a small village with few dozen houses. The people seemed to be wealthy but rude. The men were hungry and there wasn't a single restaurant in the village. So Khizr requested some villagers for food. Unfortunately, nobody gave them any food. We have no food for strangers. A villager said to them, Go away, I am poor. Don't have food for my family. How could I feed you? said a man riding a nice horse and wearing expensive clothes. So the man had to sleep empty stomach. The next morning Khizr headed for a house in the village. There was a small dirt road leading away from the house. At the end of the road stood a half-broken wall. 
officer inspected the wall for a while and then started to rebuild it. Moses didn't like the people of the village. He wanted to leave the area as soon as possible. But now he had to stay with Khizr and do exactly what he said. Quietly Moses helped Khizr rebuild the wall. But by the time they completed the wall, Moses was much cross to hold his tongue. He forgot the promise he made earlier with Khizr. Now this I find very strange, he said. Khizr, while looking at the completed wall, asked, What do you find strange? Hmm? What do you find strange? Moses commented, Well, uh, here we are in a village where nobody gave us any food since last night and you have just repaired a wall for them and I am sure we will not uh, be paid for this work. Khizr turned, looked at Mosa patiently for a while and then said, Audhu billahi min shaytanir rajeem Qala haza firaqu bayni wa baynak This is the end of our company. We can't stay together any longer. But before we leave, I should tell you the reasons for all that I have done. I see you don't have much patience. Khizr started to pick his things while Moses watched him. Musa realized that he shouldn't have interfered in Khizr's business as Khizr was ordered by Allah to do what he was doing. But now it was too late. Khizr took a long breath and said, <sighs> The boat that I damaged at the river, it was for a purpose. There was a cruel king heading for the river. He was to reach the river in a while. The king planned to capture all boats by force. I slightly damaged that boat because then the king would have no use for it and he will not take it. Allah ordered me to do it because the owners of the boat were very nice people who believed in Allah. By ordering me to damage the boat, Allah actually helped the boat owners. Moses was amazed to hear this. Khizr continued, 
I killed the boy for a reason as well. The boy's parents loved Allah. They are good people. They have always asked Allah for help. That boy would have grown up to be a bad person. As a grown person, he may have hurt his parents. Allah didn't want his parents to suffer. So he ordered me to kill that boy. Now Khizr looked at the wall. They had just repaired and said, Underneath this wall is a treasure which belongs to two orphans in that house. The treasure is buried here by their parents. The parents of these children were nice people who believed in Allah. They always helped others. And now that they are dead, Allah wanted to help their children. So Allah ordered me to come here and rebuild this wall. And do you know what Khizr said to Musa at the end? Well, let's read in Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Wa ma fa'altuhu an amri I didn't do anything on my own. ذَلِكَ تَعْوِيلُ مَا لَمْ تَسْتَتِعْ عَلَيْهِ صَبْرًا And these are the reasons for all that I have done. Now Musa learned that only Allah knows the future and Allah has the power to do whatever He likes. Moses hugged his hair and returned home, whereas Khizr, as usual, left to perform more good deeds as ordered to him by Allah. Children, tomorrow we will listen to another great story. You can read today's story in the 18th chapter of Quran. And remember, only ask Allah for help and enjoy reading Quran. Until tomorrow, Assalamu Alaikum.